What's up guys, it's Iceman. I'm doing a Gears of War 3 commentary on Clock Tower today, playing with Like Butter, Reigns, uh, FaZe, and Avenge Mods. I'm not sure who the Mods guy is, um, I believe he's a friend of one of the guys we were playing with. But uh, I believe I got this gameplay shortly after the Anvil gameplay that I posted a couple days ago. And uh, it was basically the same night that I got this. And it is a 15 and 3 unstoppable gameplay. As you can see there, I got 2 v one would so I'm 0-1 right now, and I die three times in a row, and then I just go on a 15-0 kill streak. So uh, it is as you can see, the three times I died, I was not playing smart. I was pushing, you know, pushing. Just look at me, head down, just running at a guy with Lancer. Just ran 2v1 again. You know, another dumb mistake on my part. I should have waited and, you know, waited for an opportunity to open up. You know, maybe smoked it out before I ran up there or something. You know, look at me again, just running with my head down. You know, I, I just didn't give a fuck. I, I don't know what I was thinking. But about right now, I was like, all right, I'm playing stupid. I think Drew even told me, he's like, dude, what are you doing? I was just like, all right, all right, all right. Um, I, I just start immediately started playing smart. I'm pretty sure right after I spawn, I began uh, waiting back a little bit and um, playing a lot smarter. Um, but knowing me, I'll probably run up there with my head down again <laughs> and... Uh, get a few actually you know I, I think I do do that I break it up because nobody wanted to push and I end up killing them this time I actually threw a smoke like an intelligent person would do and yeah I push up there by myself 1v2 or 3 this time and uh, yeah I opened it up and my team uh, came up there now since we have the open on the left side and our team had an opportunity to push up so we got top control very fast with that one kill, you'd be surprised uh, how fast you can control the map. And now I just start going to town. Um, I believe I do very good. Yeah, I already said that. I do very good this game, 15-3, and three, like I said. Uh, I don't think I die for the rest of this commentary. But I wanted to talk about a little bit about the community again. Um, on that Academy gameplay, I was talking about tips on improving smaller Gears of War channels, not improving smaller channels in general, because people are, are posting comments saying, quote, you're bad, unquote. And I'm just like, you know, that was a 12-minute commentary to help out the Gears community. It's people like that are the reason why people stop playing Gears. You know, the Call of Duty guys come to Gears, and they get raped by these guys on the Gears community, and all they do is talk shit to them. Get the fuck off... Oh, uh, Gears of War, you fucking scrub, go back to Call of Duty. What do you think that guy's going to do? He's going to go back to Call of Duty because he's most likely using Retro Salt off and he's getting raped, cross-fired, you know, just handled by GB and uh, MLG kids and just demolished, you know. It just instantly makes him want to throw that fucking game in the garbage can and put back in his main game of choice, you know. Uh, when a Call of Duty guy comes to the Gears community, you know, he's expecting, like, a gateway, you know. I mean, they they get frustrated just like we do, you know. They miss a quad feed or something. They get really upset, or uh, you know, one of they get a hit marker, you know, on a fucking collateral, you know. They fucking freak out, you know. And so they come to Gears of War and what just to get shit talked by our community. And it's the guys in our community like that, you know, that, that leave me a comment calling me bad when I post a 12-minute uh, gameplay discussing ways to better yourself. And, you know, I, I don't even let it bother me. I just, I think it's really sad, actually. And another guy, you know, commented saying, uh, I actually have to agree, uh, disagree with everything you said, Iceman. Uh, your channel is all in capitals, tiny, compared to other channels these days. Uh, it's sad that you say, you know, you, you have to post or to submit uh, montages or clips to your channel to get known is actually... Uh, not a good way to get known in the Gears community because your channel is small compared to other channels. Which is true. My channel is small compared to other channels these days. But it's very, very large compared to other Gears Award channels, which I think he's very misinformed about. Uh, why would you send clips to Phaser Optic or Hazard Cinema to get known for Gears Award? You wouldn't. You'd, you'd send them uh, to me or you know Gearsopedia or a big Gears Award channel. Uh, why contact a Call of Duty audience if you want a Gears of War fan base? You know that just puzzles me. Puzzles me that guy's clearly a moron. So, and uh, I think I already blocked him because he was t he was the same guy I was calling me bad. So, 
um, you know, I just don't deal with that. You just instantly get blocked. I, I tell you what I have to uh, tell you, and uh, I let you know how I feel about it, and then I just block you so I don't have to hear your bullshit again. But anyways, um, you know, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Uh, that Academy commentary, you know, the tips on smaller channels, is it's all true. I had uh, more people telling me, you know, uh, I think it's false saying that the best way to get known is montages because most people don't like mo watching montages. Well, why don't you look at me, like Butter, um, Gearsopedia, uh, you know, Gold Glove, uh, let's see here, Chaotic. Why are all those channels the biggest channels in the Gears community? And you know what? What did they do? They posted montages. Yeah, they did. Um, you're not going to get known in the Gears community only posting commentaries unless, like I said, you start posting montages first. You'd be surprised. A lot more people like watching montages than commentaries. You know, there's an odd few that really just don't like watching montages, and I get it that montages don't display actual skill. You know, it's all clips combined over a period of time, and gameplays, uh, you know, show skill. But, you know, they're fun to watch. You know, who doesn't like seeing amazing clips put together throughout a, you know, three to five minute video? But, anyways, guys, I just want to get that rant out of the way. Hope you guys enjoyed, and go check out the description for Hype Festations. Gears of War 3 tournament. All the pros are playing. I'm going to put the link in the description. They're live streaming right now. Go check it out, guys. Peace out.